Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. I hope you have your coffee and you're going to join me this morning. We are I'm getting set up, but we are going to talk about purpose today. So this is going to be a really fun topic. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, just so you know, we're working and well, we're not working on, but well, we can work on these topics, but each week right now, every Friday, I'm sharing somebody's power word from this group. For example, at the beginning of this year in January, I asked you guys, what is your power word for this year? What are your intentions? What are you focused on? What's that one power word that's going to really help you get through those obstacles and challenges, right? Because you've got to, I believe in power words. Like, look, heck, I tattooed it on my arm. <laughs> so that tells you anything. Um, and it's done me well. So I'm super excited about this. And today is Taylor. Taylor is somebody I haven't met yet, but she shared her power word is purpose. And so every Friday, that's what we're gonna talk about is somebody's amazing power word with coffee and we're having a conversation and we're gonna talk about this. And um, I, I, you know, at first this, this, this power word kind of scared me a little bit to be really honest with you. Now, if you guys are honest with me, when you hear the word purpose, like, don't you tend to go like, do I know my purpose? What is my purpose? Oh my gosh, like, the, is, it a, is it a little scary to you or is it just me? Let me know in the comments if you find that word to be, not maybe scary, but just like, wow, it's, it's a powerful word, right? So doing my research, of course, to make sure you guys get the most out of these words, I just, I was just fell in love with this word even more and more. So, but you're gonna find that this word is so similar to other powerful words. And that's what's so cool about the, doing these power words that more than likely, if this is not your power word, this is a word that you can really incorporate. And it's all about intentions and how you're thinking about things. So. Taylor, thank you very much for this power word. And Taylor, if you're joining, please let us know. And please also comment below, what are your intentions with this word? So that's the fun thing is I have not reached out to you guys. I haven't asked you, what does this word mean to you? And how are you identifying it um, to your work, your home? Like, how are you utilizing this word? So I'm just taking this word and running with it. I'm matching it with the definition. I'm matching it with what God says about this word and how we can implement it in our lives. So, how many guys have coffee this morning? I'm super excited about this word and sharing it with you guys. Who has coffee? Who's sick of this cold weather? Ugh, so sick of it. <laughs> I'm so ready for winter. My office is set up like a, a sauna. I have two heaters <laughs> blaring and it is hot in here so I shouldn't complain it feels so toasty and warm my kids usually come in here there's a chair right here nobody's in here right now but myself but usually a child is sitting right next to me like on his phone playing on his phone in my office it's so warm okay super excited Sh uh, cherry got coffee yay so I'm super excited about this word thank you cherry for joining and joining me and watching and oh my God, this coffee is really good this morning, especially because it's so cold. All right, let's dive into this word. Super excited. So purpose. Okay, and I have some notes because I want to make sure I stay on track and I want to make sure I give you really good meaning towards purpose and how you can utilize it in your life. All right. So first, the definition of purpose is the reason for something that exists. And it's basically the reason why something is done or it's being used, the, the, the aim of something, the intention of something. And it's the feeling of being determined to do something or achieving something. That is straight from the Webster Dictionary, guys. Like That's what purpose means. And that alone is like self-explanatory, but it, it makes your mind go, okay, well, I, you've got to aim towards something, right? That's what purpose means. It's determined of achieving something. So when you're attaching purpose and you're attaching achieving something, you're like, okay, I think sometimes we overthink purpose. Like what's my purpose in life? I think we 
fear that we're gonna miss it, right? We fear that like, there's so much things about that pop up when you, when you hear the word purpose, right? Like, does that happen to you guys? Is it Carly, is it Carly, did I pronounce your name right? Carly, Carla, Carly, Carly maybe, right? I love that name. So thank you for joining, I really appreciate it. So with this definition and purpose, sometimes we can overthink purpose, like, oh my God, what's my purpose? How, how do I incorporate it? Do I even know my purpose? What is my purpose in life? Okay, and I'm gonna share with you my profound purpose in life here in just a minute. Um, it's something new and it's profound because, uh, and I think you by, probably will be able to relate to it. So another few words, I always like to give examples of other words that are very similar to purpose, and that is an end result. That is aim, that is a goal. Those are some similar words that are, that are used in the Webster Dictionary that are the same as purpose. So again, it's a, an intended desired result. It's aiming towards a goal, or it is a goal, right? So that's a purpose. So I think sometimes we think our purpose should be something really, and it, it can be, and, and, and no, I'm not underlining purpose like it's not a big deal, but purpose should be, it could be anything. I have a, I have a purpose and intentions of, um, you know, helping women that are 40 and over, empowering them and inspiring them so they can achieve the goals that they want with bold confidence, right? <laughs> so um, so how, how does God define purpose? I found this really interesting and I found this powerful. So God works all things, including our life, according to his purpose, right? So it's not even our own, <laughs> it's his purpose. And that's what's so powerful about our purpose is knowing that it was designed for us, it was numbered by days, and it's already fulfilled. Our purpose is already fulfilled by him. God already has it aligned for us. Now, how are we supposed to discover that? And if we have discovered it, how are we supposed to utilize it, right? So I will tell you that a lot of times, if you have a purpose and you have a mission or a goal or something that you're aiming towards, because that's your purpose, you're like, I'm in purpose, I'm intentionally achieving this one goal. If it's a ranking your company, if it's um, gaining more new clients, if it's just finding more joy in your life, maybe you're going through a season of healing in your life. And maybe it's a breakdown that you're going through your life. COVID and last year was horrendous. It was a crazy year, right? And there's so much uncertainty that happens in our lives all the time. It's never gonna end, right? Fear, uncertainty, all this stuff is, is in this world, right? It's just a matter of a mindset that you're gonna have in order and the armor of God that you're gonna surround yourself with to achieve and go through the things that you face, right? So however, with this purpose that God's given us and he's already given it to us, we, it's already there for us, which is so cool. But however, our choices and our actions also determine that end result, right? So if you have a purpose in life and you have a goal that you're aiming towards, since we know that's another word for it. So really, your choices and your actions really determine that end result. And really how you think <laughs> really structures your actions because you want at a subconscious level to be aware of what those intentions are. So. I want to give you an example of some things because this is three years ago and I'm just going to share with you my purpose. My purpose that I have, it's my profound purpose in life. I'm 50 years old. Some of you guys may or may know that, know that. but at 48 years old, I discovered my purpose in life and that was to prove myself wrong, right? That was my purpose in life. That, that's my purpose now in life is to prove myself wrong and, and that I can. So there's two parts of that, prove myself wrong and prove that I can. Because for too long, I think we live with excuses. We live with fear. We live with uncertainty. And I don't know why it dawned on me at 48 years old, maybe because before that I was doing a lot of personal development from a lot of personal development in my 40s. And finally at 48, it hit me to where like, you know what, uncertainty is never gonna go away. 
Fear is never going to go away. And the biggest obstacle that I always hear literally every day from women is time. I don't have the time. And we all have the same amount of time that other business owners have, other CEOs, other people that are fulfilled with the joy and the freedom that they have, right? All these other people that we see flying by with all these amazing things, which that's not what brings us joy is things. I'm not saying that, but I say that in a way where the more abundance of money and things, which by the way, I'm not fearful of saying that I want money because God's given me that piece of joy. And the more money and things we have, the more we can give to those that are in need. And I love, I love having that mindset of the more we have, the more we can give, right? Think about it. The less you have, you can't give. So all you can give is maybe your time. You can go volunteer. You can give something of yourself, which is great. But I I see myself giving abundantly. Like just giving like food to homeless people. Like right now, I feel so sorry for homeless. I mean, I can't even stand to look at a homeless person right now. And it's just so sad to think that they're out there in the cold. I mean, we had no electricity last Sunday for five hours. Like... I was, that's all I thought about was homeless people and how do they do this and what can we do for them? So having an abundance mindset of things and money is okay, okay? So, but with this profound purpose of myself that, that I have, which is to prove myself wrong and that I can is something I know that you guys can relate to too. And I want you to know that In order to move forward with your purpose and in order to make the time for your purpose, in order for you to face the fear and to remove the excuses is hard to do, but it can be easy if you go into it with the mindset that it's never going to leave. It's always going to be there. And if you're always going to wait for the right time or if you're going to wait for the right, like, the universe to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Like, no, like, no. (laughs) The universe works for you and with you. Like, your energy surrounds the whole world and this universe. So if you're not moving and you're not taking action, it's just all gonna sit there, right? So again, I wanna remind you that your purpose has already been given to you by God. That's his purpose. It's already been numbered and the days have been numbered for you. What are you gonna do with it? That's the power of purpose, is what are you gonna do with your purpose, right? Now, I will tell you that I've learned through my obstacles of facing my fear, because it's not ever gonna go away. Fear is always gonna be there. Uncertainty, right? Not knowing what the end result's gonna really look like, right? Like you've got these goals and dreams you're gonna do, and you're like, okay, well, if I get that certification, if I achieve it, will I be successful? Well, maybe not. Maybe there's still a journey for you left to to take, right? And through every successful person, there's always a journey, right? That's how we learn and grow. And that's part of my notes that I have that I have gone through. So finding my purpose was proving myself wrong and proving that I can. That's my, and how do I do that? So this might help you. How do you prove yourself wrong and that you can do it, right? Besides the actions and a plan, I want you to challenge yourself to take that action, right? You have to draw the line with yourself to take that action. Face the fear of uncertainty and face the fear of like, what are people gonna think? What are people gonna say? Or how am I gonna look? Like, don't wait for the 20 pounds to drop off. Don't wait for the certification or the things that happen for you to your favor that you think is going to level you up. That's not what happens, right? There's still networking. There's still connections that you can make. There's still things that you can do to lead you to be even more successful for when everything lines out, right? So facing your fear and the uncertainty, learn along the way, right? That's part of the purpose and the journey is learning along the way. And what happens if there's a setback? You readjust. It, it sounds that simple, 
but you learn when you're walking the scary walk and you're taking these scary actions, like when you take 10 steps back, instead of freaking out and giving up, you just go pick your butt up and you go, you know what? I challenged myself to not look back. I challenged myself to face every fear and learn as I go through this journey by myself or with somebody. Um, and that's the last thing I want to talk about was with your purpose is be resourceful, okay? And to surround yourself with empowering people. Surround yourself with people that are like-minded like you. Surround yourself with people that are dreaming big. Surround yourself with people that are winners, that are winning in life, right? Why would you surround yourself with somebody that's questioning you, that's, and this might be family. You can't like remove them out of your life. I totally get that. I, I mean, I have a, a, a relative, a, a parent of mine that's like, what, why are you doing that? And doesn't attend my competitions because they don't, they don't align their agree. They don't agree with me on it. So you know what? You're, we're going to face these obstacles and you know what? I love and bless it. I love and bless it. That's, if that's how my parent thinks, my dad particularly, then I love and bless them. I leave it, I let it go because I know it's my calling, it's my mission, it's, I'm doing it for me. I'm doing a bikini competition and I'm a competitor because I wanna prove myself that I can. I'm not trying to be skinny and I'm not trying to be a 25 year old. I wanna be the best 50 year old I can be. And if that means that I'm hitting the gym, if that means that I'm networking and, and helping other women, inspiring them to not do a bikini competition but to achieve their goals, whatever it is, then so be it. I know it's a calling, I know it's my purpose, and I'm not looking back. Have I lost friends along the way? Have I lost connections with people because they're like, oh, you would never wanna hang out with us because we drink too much, we eat too much, and we're gonna be partying all weekend, and you're not gonna wanna hang out with us? Yeah, I've had that, I've had that. And I've had networking groups, you know, look at me and go, well, you're using your platform for our platform. You don't, you don't need, you don't belong here. You need to leave. You're no longer invited back to this, this group. <laughs> so you are going to face obstacles and time is going to be your biggest obstacle. A lot of times we don't know when we're going to fit in this time because we get, we have kids, we have a family, we have needy husbands. <laughs> like we have, maybe you're single, maybe you're a single mom, maybe you have lost a family member, maybe you've lost a child. You know, however the obstacles and things that you're going through, you have to just know your purpose, know that God has this planned out for you, but your actions and the way you think are gonna result that end result that you need. So be resourceful, surround yourself with amazing people, and go after your dreams. Face your purpose in life. Oh, I didn't share with you guys, if you don't know your purpose, this is it, and we'll, we'll make this quick. If you don't know your purpose, I want you to pray for direction, right? That's number one. Two is listen to the God whispers. Listen to yourself. Listen. <laughs> like, turn off Netflix. Turn off, turn off everything. Just sit with yourself. It is something that we don't do very often, right? We're always busy, 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 busy. Like, I'm busy. If you call a friend, you're like, hey, what's up? You're like, they're like, I'm busy. Like, okay, fine, I get you're busy, so am I. <laughs> so, but number two is just listen to those God whispers. If you really take extra time to listen, you're going to hear it, right? And most of the time it's that gut feeling inside. You've got this ginormous God-sized dream. You've got this vision of, like, like you've got this vision, you know, those are whispers. Those are God's sight. Like you can't envision it without it being a thought first and it being already a foundation within you. Then maybe it's God's purpose. Maybe it's the given purpose that he's giving you and he's giving you that vision. So if you have it in your heart and you're thinking about it, it's there, right? Um, number three, challenge yourself to face the uncertainty. We talked about that. But that's if you don't know your purpose. You're gonna pray for direction, you're gonna to listen to the God-sized whispers, and you're going to challenge yourself, right? Because sometimes you find your purpose in the walk. And I wrote that down. Through the walk of uncertainty, you discover profound, deeper purpose. And that's exactly what's happened in my life at 50. And I'm so 
thankful, guys. I can't tell you. I'm not lucky. I just faced my fear a few years ago, 2019. I drew the freaking line. I'm not going to keep staring at my goals like every year and relive the same year, the same damn year every year. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. And I broke that chain. I broke the habits of what I was doing, which was uh, nothing. <laughs> Dreaming about it. I was thinking about it. And why can't I get there? And why is everybody else having all this luck? No, that's not how it works. You don't, you're not lucky. They're not lucky. The girl over there, she's lucky. No, they worked their butt off, right? And it was a concept that for me, maybe you guys already get this. I love you too, Crystal. I adore you. Thanks for being here. I'm going to cry. <laughs> but, uh, I, <laughs> I went blank, <laughs> but yeah, your, your purpose is, is there guys. Uh, I'm not looking back anymore. I took that challenge and I'm glad I took that challenge for myself and I, I'm teaching other women to challenge yourself, right? Finding you group, finding you friends, just get out there, face your cha challenge yourself and face the fears because it's true when they say the magic and everything happens on the other side of fear, it's no joke. It, it's no joke. Like I stutter when I even think about it because if you can walk through the fear and you might fall a hundred times through that fear, you might take 10 steps back through that fear, but are you going to get up and keep walking? And in 2019, when I told myself I want to host a women's conference, I'm glad you're back, Tabitha, and I want to enter a bikini competition in 2019, those were my two goals I challenged myself because I didn't think I was good enough for either. And who am I to host a women's conference? And I'm overweight. I don't have the body or the mindset to do a bikini competition. Why would God ask me to do that? And looking back now, he called me to do that so I can prove myself wrong that I can do it. And that, that's just my journey. Yours could be different. But in 2019, when I drew the line, it's okay, no more. You're not going to talk crap about your body anymore, Gina. You're not going to look at yourself and, and, and look at the same goals every year. You're going to host your women's conference. Even though you think you're nobody, you're going to do a bikini competition and you're going to prove yourself, not it to anybody else. And, and it wasn't for accolades or anything like that. It was for me. It was for myself to prove myself that mind and body, I can do something that's super duper hard. It's going to take full dedication, full, full commitment, full focus. And then when you fast forward in that challenge of myself and COVID hits and the world, the, the world is falling apart and my conference is supposed to be April of 2020 and my competition my bikini competition is four weeks later. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you when, you, when you come at me with, I'm fearful, uncertainty, time, like all these things, like I can relate. I want you to know I can relate. But how you handle those obstacles and how you pick yourself back up and you don't quit, you keep going, facing the fears of gyms are closed, we're snowbound. We can't get to the gym. Like, what are you going to do? You work out at home. You get your coat on. I have a friend of mine, Christina Rowland. She's a marathon runner, a brand new marathon runner. And she's part of my Bikini Bowl group. And that girl inspires us. She will send us a picture in our private group with her hat on, her coat on, and she's running six, seven, eight miles out in this cold. Like, I'm like, ah! way but that's her purpose and that's her that's her plan she's committed to her plan so she's doing the do right like that's what happens through hail high waters through covid you find a way to be resourceful okay gosh don't get me started i can go on and on about that but i'm super passionate about your purpose and how i can help you and um, Tabitha, thank you guys for being here. I'm not sure who else is on here. I'm gonna look at the comments. Um, and so be sure to say hi to me if you're watching the replay, do hashtag replay. 
and invite your friends to this group. Tag them on here. Athena's on here. Thank you, girl. Crystal, yay! Thank you, Crystal, for being here. I love you. Mwah. You guys just super duper inspire me. I love you guys. Thank you for being here and being a huge support. So I hope this was powerful for you guys and meaningful for you guys. And if anything, um, yes, yes, yes. All right, women, let's go conquer our dreams and follow our purpose. I'm super excited and I'll see you guys next Friday will be my last, um, not last live. It'll be my last one talking about uh, a power word. And then I'm going to kind of hop into some other fun things that I have in mind. So, all right, guys, love you guys so much. Have a great Friday and amazing weekend. Bye.